when it comes down to it, not all dinners are from scratch. So sometimes we cut corners. I mean, yeah, it's January. But I love canning my own foods from the summer for this very reason. To use the foods I crave. Sure, I could buy whatever I needed from the grocery store still. Because, unfortunately, that's what the economic system has done to our food. It's taken away what makes some ingredients so exciting. Seasonality. So tonight, I'm making a quick but tasty pumpkin curry. It's going to be great. Nick and Lau Adventures! First off, let's cut up our vegetables. What you're going to want to do first is cut your root vegetables. So preheat your oven to 450 or 400 if you have a convection. First I'm cutting off the ends of the sweet potato so that we don't use the rough parts. This is an oblique cut that I use on a regular basis for a lot of different kinds of vegetables. Same for the carrot. Now you don't have to peel your carrot, but at least scrub it. <laughs> for the eggplants, just cut the tops off. And then we're gonna cut them in quarters lengthwise. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, that's gonna be too. Add a little salt and oil, so that way they get a little bit of color, a little caramelization, and make sure to spread them out on a big pan, so that way they don't steam. Next is our oyster mushrooms. These are left over from the last video. Same thing, profile cut, so they look nice and pretty. Granted, you probably won't see them. Next, we're gonna cut up our alliums and aromatics. Here's a little onion. It's rotten, rotten. I'm just gonna small dice it, give it a good peel, cut off the butts, and then we're gonna cut it flat, horizontally, make some slices into it, and then turn it 90 degrees. We're gonna do the same thing with the shallot, it's just a little bit smaller. For our garlic, give it a little wiggle to get the peel off, remove the butts, and nice thin, super thin pieces of garlic. Clean up your workstation, clean up your workstation. Before we cook anything, let's uh, Let's blow the crap out of this, this stuff. This is actually a roasted peanut pumpkin that I got during the fall. It smells good. Oh, what sound. Make sure to add a little bit, make sure to add a little bit of seasoning. Chili flake, just a little bit. Why well, doesn't like it too spicy? Some white pepper. You can use black pepper, you don't have to use white pepper. I have some homemade stock. It's turkey stock. If you wanted this dish to be vegan, you can use vegetable stock. Go ahead and pour about half in to start, just to get it going. And while that's going, we're gonna get our pot out and get our heat going. Um, that was about a little over a cup of stock. It was actually just the right amount. I could add a little bit more later in case I think it's a little too thick. If you don't have a food processor, use a blender. If you don't have a blender. Now it's time to heat up our aromatics and our alliums. Here's a little bit of cooking oil along with avocado oil. And heat that up. Add our shallots, our onion, and our garlic. And cook it till it's about translucent. If you get a little bit of color, that's okay. Now we're adding in our pureed pumpkin in stock with our alliums. Oh, watch out for the splatter. If you have a splatter screen, I rec recommend one. If you don't, use a lid. Give it a good stir. Get anything that's stuck to the bottom off. And we're gonna add a whole can of coconut milk. 
and let that come up to a simmer. Now we're adding in our curry of choice. I went with a Japanese soup curry. It comes in a little bit of a brick, but it breaks down pretty quickly. Here I'm adding in two smashed Thai chilies. Now I'm not chopping them up because I just want a little bit of the heat. And now we're just going to cover it up and let it simmer for a couple of minutes while we wait for our roasted vegetables. It's been a couple of minutes. I'm going to add a little bit more stock because it's a little bit thick. In fact, I'm just going to probably end up adding the remainder of the stock. We'll see. Now we're adding in our mushrooms. Mushrooms make a great option if you don't want to eat meat in this soup. Now that, oh. <laughs> now that our vegetables are finished roasting, I'm going to add them into the soup. And we're going to finish this up. Woo! Give it a stir, just incorporate everything. And I like to use whatever herbs are in season. Unfortunately, it's January, so I just have leftover dried parsley from last, last fall. Here is our vegetarian pumpkin soup curry. Oh wait, yeah, what I said the first time. This wash makes arrow apricot. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to, to go down below the video and hit that subscribe button, as well as ring that bell for more of our videos. Peace! For more notifications from the rest of our little...